Hello all. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. I uh, just thought I would share a little something. Seth and I took a ride today. Went out to uh, a couple of our favorite gun shops and uh, his favorite airsoft sh shop, of course. And uh, outside of my gun shop that I like to go to, they were sort of having like a little, I don't know, not garage sale, but sidewalk sale. They take in some uh, estate stuff and somebody must have had a bunch of uh, well, for loading supplies, I kind of missed out on the earlier stuff. We got there later in the afternoon. But I got a box full of, well, at least what it says they are, Hornady lead bullets, 38 cal, 148 grain. Um, it is almost full. Look at that price tag. $3. And uh, I'm not sure about these. In fact, that's part of the reason I'm posting this. Some of these have a real nasty cavity in the base. And uh, I'm not sure what I want to do with these. Whether I want to just, you know, melt the melt the ones that have the, the cavities in them. And keep the ones that are, you know, some are good, some are fine. I don't know if, if these are factory, if somebody cast these and put them in this box. If anybody's got any clue. Um, I mean, there's, there's, there's more than $3 worth of lead there. Um, I'm pretty pleased with that. So these could be headed for the pot, but they might get, I don't know, loaded up and used just for, for plinking bullets. For three bucks, couldn't go wrong. The next was uh, 45 caliber bullets, 230 grain, $5 for this box. And uh, they're kind of a nice little uh, round flat. I'm not sure if that is falling out, the, the lube and lube groove. Does they all pretty much look like that? I'm thinking I might just run these through a solvent bath and clean them all off. And uh, maybe I'll powder coat them. They, uh, they're nice bullets. They're a hollow base. They're kind of cool. And, uh, well, 45 ACP or 45 Colt it would work just fine. Might make some interesting loads. And then this box. Holy crap. And holy... Ah. It had actually spilled out. They had it in a bigger box. I took it out and wrapped it in some tape. These are True Flight bullets uh, for 45 ACP, 225 grain, 452 diameter. There were $504. Uh, and I like these. These are kind of nice. In fact, I have a, a mold very similar. The uh, lube's still in the groove in pretty good shape. So these could also possibly be some 45 ACP or for some 45 Colt. And uh, there is literally a box full of them. So, I don't know. What do you think? Should they get shot? Could, should they go in the pot? Or, uh, you know, whatever. Now, this is something that I thought was really neat. And I wouldn't have even known what these were if uh, it weren't for uh, Uncle Jim and Oddball Stuff. I saw those and uh, saw plastic cartridge cases. And they were $2. So, uh... What they are is a plastic case. You put a primer in, and they they had a plastic bullet. Um, almost kind of looks like the the plastic bullet that goes on uh, like a birdshot 357. But I know that uh, Uncle Jim and uh, an oddball stuff had loaded these with wax bullets, you know, homemade wax bullets, and then loaded them in, and then you could shoot them inside. These both have uh, the original set of instructions that that came with which is kind of neat uh it shows you you know how to put the primers in it shows you putting the plastic bullet into the case and uh to seat it down but i'm thinking that uh might make up some some wax make some wax bullets and try these out and then you just push the primers back out and you can even give you instructions for making a uh, bullet trap box so I thought that uh, these were pretty cool. I thought Uncle Jim would get a kick out of these. And I got two boxes full. So I might actually look around and see if I can find the uh, the plastic bullets. That would be neat too. But uh, pretty cool. All the little warnings on them. Uh, $2 a box. Couldn't pass it up. Just to try it out. See what those do in the 44. So that was my... Uh, my haul, um, we did pick up a nice little scope at the airsoft shop, but that's already made its way onto one of his airsoft guns. So, hope everybody's having a good weekend. Uh, maybe we'll see you this evening on uh, Hillbilly Up Beer 
therapy chat. Um, it's probably, uh, oh, it's 9 o'clock now, so coming up in about an hour. So we'll see you all there if you're uh, stopping by. Have a good evening. Bye.